A section of Kisi residents are up in arms of a prolonged water shortage that has hit the area. They are attributing the stingy scarcity to incompetent water service providers contracted by the Kisi County government. In their opinion, the said contractors have embezzled funds meant for preservation of water catchment areas, a situation that has occasioned worsening conditions of water supply points. The water troubles in Kisi merge even as traders at El Demaravin Market in Baringo County protested regulated use of toilets in the town. The group now wants immediate action taken to avert looming spread of diseases in the area. In the meantime, women groups in Kericho have benefited from incubators and passion fruit seedlings worth 15 million shillings, which was allocated to them through Women Affirmative Action Fund. Speaking during the rollout of the program in Kipkeli on West constituency, Kericho Women Representative Helen Chepkoni disclosed that more wards have been covered by the project even as she rallied the beneficiaries to make good use of the initiative. In Meru area, Governor Peter Munya has criticized the National Environment Management Authority, NEMA, over alleged failure to approve a petrol station project meant to sell low poles in the management of government fuel funds. Munya accused NEMA of insincerity, charging that the project has met recommended standards. <laughs> Property worth millions of shillings was destroyed by fire in Nanyuki town. Reports say that a hardware which mostly specializes on paints and construction equipments caught fire at around 10 p.m. Monday before it was gutted down completely. Still in Lake Kipia, a group of professionals drawn from the area and the surrounding Samburu and Isilo counties have launched initiatives to restore peace between warring communities in their volatile border. The program, dubbed Professionals Peace Caravan, has so far met with three communities separately who have agreed to meet at a common ground to forge a way forward on how they'll be sharing resources which have sparked conflicts for decades. Irene Mchuma Udim, Channel One News Hour.